So, we have a PSLE question yes, which we, we have a lot of problems trying to mm. solve. Very up. You know, uh, this PSLE question, I was just reading it earlier on in my email and it's so difficult. It is, it is. I can't, I can't, can't do it. solve it. So I'll tell you what, let's it. read it to you guys and see yes. if you can solve it. Let's take a look at the screen and we actually have the question coming up, okay? Now, you see, Jim bought some chocolates and gave half to Ken. And uh, Ken bought some sweets and gave half to Jim. Now, Jim ate, uh, how many sweets? He ate 12 sweets. Yes. And Ken ate 18 mm. sweets. Now, uh, chocolates. Now the ratio is that uh, the, the sweets to chocolate is about 1 to 7 and the ratio of uh, sweets to chocolate is 1 to 4. Now yes. the question is how many sweets did Ken buy? Yes! So how many sweets did Ken buy? I have no idea. You have no idea? I have no idea. Okay. But i tell you what, I know someone who can help us find out the All answer. Right, good. Mr. Norman Tien. Norman, come out here. Hey Norman. Hi. How's it going? Hello like Norman. It. Nice hello. to see you. Hello, hello. So, do you know how to answer this question? Because we don't know how to answer it. Yeah. Sure, sure. I can actually show you uh, using models to solve. Okay, okay great. All right. I think Take these are your models, right? All right. That's right. Now, to begin with, now first, Jim ate uh, 12 sweets. And because of that, the ratio uh, of the sweets to chocolate would be 1 is to 4. So I'm going to use one black block to represent the one sweet. And for the chocolates, I will have to show seven, seven, seven. blocks. Yes, that's true. Because the ratio is one is to seven, right? Oh, done. That's right. Yes. Now, the next sentence mentioned that Ken ate 18 chocolates. And after doing that, his ratio becomes one is to four. four. Yes. So I'm going to use a different block to represent this unit here. So this will be one and the chocolates will be four. Mm -hmm. Now that we are done with this, then the next thing we have to do is to think, think and fill in the details. Mm -hmm. Now looking at this, Ken bought sweets. He gave half to, away. So this is the remaining half. So the other half should be here, right? But why is it shorter? Because Jim ate 12. Yes. And this gap here should be a 12. Hmm. Yeah. Got it? That's right, yeah. Now let's look at this one. Jim. Jim bought chocolates, he gave half, and this will be the remaining half. Mm -hmm. So the other half should be here. Mm. And why did this shorter? Because can it 18 chocolates? That's right. So that's 18 chocolates. Precisely. Yes, I'm so smart. All right. I knew that. I okay, now if you can see, this orange block is actually equal to a black and a 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform the four orange blocks to four sets of black and a 12. This is mm -hmm. set one. I'll help you out as well. Great. Second one. Mm -hmm. Third one. And the final one. With the 18, right? That's right. Okay. Now, if you're going to do a comparison between this chocolate and this chocolate, mm -hmm. you should be able to solve the question. Hmm. That's true. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to give it a go. You know the answer? Yeah, because I'm smarter than you. Alright, yes, so please. this is what I'm going to do, Norman, if you just see if I'm correct, okay? So, if I do this and I take four of these blocks, and let's say these four blocks are equivalent to these four blocks here, mm -hmm. so these are four units, correct. and I take 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 18, this will be equivalent to these three units here, right? So what's 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 18, right? 66! Oh, you're so good! Good! So three units makes up 66. So one unit will be 66 divided by three, which is... 22! Very good, Waikit. So I'm doing right, right, Norman? Correct. So let's say one unit is 22. So to find out how many sweets Jim had would be 22 plus 12, which is... 34! 34. That's so good. So if that's half of this, so it's 34 times 2, it's... 68! Uh, oh, yeah, 68! <laughs> so, oh, I knew that. So 68 is the number of sweets Ken bought, am I yeah, right? Is that the correct, correct answer? Oh, yes, yes! Thank you, Norman! Thanks, white kid, we make a team. Yeah, ow! Buddy! Oh, okay, I'll tell you what, it's very important for the children who are doing these kind of math questions to read the question carefully and slowly so you don't miss out any important points. Because if you don't read it properly, then you might not be able to answer it properly. Yeah. So, so read the questions properly. 